Yeah, sometimes our emulator does not want to, you know. You know I don't know who I have to call <laughs> out to for, like, Slippy, because I know they had Netplay for that Melee game, I think it's called. Uh, but, yeah. you know, just like. <laughs> I've heard of it once or twice, yeah. It's, it's not even a popular game, Melee. Like That's true, that's true. <laughs> it only came out two years after our game. I don't understand why yeah. we also don't have don't this uh, rollback everybody's talking first. about. Yeah, I know. Okay, here it is. The set. Closing versus Bungie. <laughs> You know, it's just like, I'm not trying to, uh, 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 you know, make anything mean here. Just come on. I want some fucking rollback. Ah, there's my language. <laughs> well, luckily it's my. Okay. Opinion, it's, so. it's your stream. <laughs> yeah. You, you have, you... No, uh, it's, it's more for like, uh, friends of kids trying to show them too. Like I was trying to show my, uh, my friend, uh, my stream the other day and he caught me with the F bomb. So. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Oh wow, these guys. Oh, looks just, like we've got a yeah, game going starting right here. into it. So this is her. going to be. Again, I don't know why I'm putting you. I think it's because I'm hot. Uh, that will happen. TB Gengar. This is. He is a okay, Sacramento so this is... player. So if you want, I okay, can talk cool. about him for a little bit. Since... Yeah, I who who is Gengu? Does he usually play Fox? You know, every time I play him, he's usually playing a lot of other people. So yeah, it's Fox. Okay. I seen him play Falcon. I think he played a Samus one time against him. Oh, interesting. But I'm glad I got the uh, Fox one. I put that in character switch. <laughs> right on. Um, so Klosenberg, uh, you know, big uh, big supporter of the community, hosts a uh, now becoming yearly tournament in Arizona called Battle at the Border. Mm -hmm. um, I and last year. I heard it was a fantastic tournament, Super and fun. I'm hoping to go this year. <laughs> um, and this is going to be a uh, ooh. <laughs> A immediate lead for Klosenberg, uh, doing a good job of closing that first stock out. And, uh, you know, Klosen does do some silly oh, stuff sometimes. Wow. Right as I say I that, go he goes for, for really the... technical angle there as Fox. Yeah, it's a tough angle to hit. The slight down is very, very hard. Jab into up smash, really easy way to close that stock out. Not a very technical option, uh, but a very consistent option for sure. Uh, it looks like he's just going to be go. Ooh, drifting into Kirby on the top platform. Almost never a good idea. Definitely want to be taking your time right there. Just kind of poking with some lasers. Maybe an up air from down below. There's one of those silly options from Kosenberg that I mentioned. The down B in uh, in response to being approached here. This is going to be three stocks to one stock. I lied. It's going to be two stocks to one stock. <laughs> not get up high enough to recover. Oh, <laughs> Put it in chat. Closing Kirby is certified gangsta. Definitely. <laughs> when you're when you're hitting those bricks you're definitely a gangster <laughs> yeah you got those bricks on deck <laughs> rolls into the multi jab yeah. he's gonna hit down air on the shield uh fox is gonna dare pretty decent di from closing to get out right there really solid connection uh or rather not solid connection to get those light up airs from fox here he's kind of fishing for more up airs closing going for the immediate up smash not gonna connect fox turning around with a laser no DI there from the Fox to get out of the fair. Ooh, the random forward smash in neutral, not getting the right read right there to connect. Down tilt to get under the shield. This should be a wrap right now. Closing, throwing it down immediately. Yep. It's a pretty commanding first game, I would say. Um, well, I think I, it's just a hard matchup for Fox, isn't it? Um, I don't know. I, I don't know very much about Fox Kirby personally. I do feel like and he has some pretty good poke tools, but I do feel like, you know, if he goes in too hard, he could really struggle. So we're going to go Link Kirby yeah, uh, now, which um, I think technically, you know, I have heard some people say, you know, in theory, out uh -huh. of everybody that destroys Link, you know, maybe... Kirby, maybe Link can do some stuff to Kirby, right? Yeah. Um, the idea is that he has a sword, he has projectiles, he has good range, he has good poke tools, uh, but something that he's really, really bad at is the grounded combat against Kirby. You really oh, yeah. want to avoid being on center stage, you really want to be avoiding being on the ground and having to use regular aerials. Um, Link is a lot, especially against Kirby, about abusing the fact that your platform movement is just as fast as other characters, where oh, yeah. your grounded movement is not, right? So, 
um, would like to see some uh, abuse of that platform stuff because you really, just like we saw right there, you really can't challenge Kirby directly on the ground, right? You want to be trying to bait him into the platform approaches where you have projectiles ready, uh, where you have an aerial ready to catch him in, in the air, ideally. Uh, really wants to be on the ledge right there uh, as well when Kirby's coming in. Ooh, good recovery yeah. there. Oh, it is a solid a recovery. Real hard to get back to stage with Link, definitely. Throwing the bomb up. <laughs> Gonna be a good bomb right there, but needs to be closer to take advantage of that. You see what I mean? He's, yeah. he's really, really far away when that bomb connects. Um, when Kirby's coming back onto the stage, you need to be pretty close to him. Uh, not too close, obviously, because you could get whacked, and it looks like Link is a little bit scared of that um, inevitability. Ooh, that's one of the reasons you also want to be playing around platforms is the accidental grabs when you're trying to uh, do aerials, especially if you do aerials with R. Uh, very, very difficult. That is going to be another stock there. Uh, really easy for Kirby to close these stocks out. Really hard for Link to... Ooh, misses the Z cancel into the dare. No DI. Going to get the Nair afterwards. No huge follow-up. Random forward smash. Well, not random, but uh, the yeah. raw forward smash, I should say. Covers a decent amount of options with the boomerang. Uh, all right, Link doing a pretty good job right now. Definitely yeah. would like to see him play around that side platform a little bit. He's going to go right into the upbeat. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, it's, oh he gets back. He surprised <laughs> all of us. Actually. He's fine. He's fine. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and he takes the yeah, stock. Yeah, and he gets their stock. Oh, I look like an idiot now. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> How dare you? Commentator like... curse much? No. <laughs> <laughs> all right, the random bricks coming out from Kirby on the top platform. Would love to see some. Ooh, and the accident hook shot. That's tough. That's yeah. tough. Unfortunately, it's yeah. the game, though. <laughs> yeah, so the, the really big thing about that matchup in general is if you want to play Link Kirby, it's hard. You shouldn't expect it to be easier than any of the top tiers oh, versus yeah. Kirby. Um, the really big thing about it is that you need to identify your strengths and weaknesses and his strengths and weaknesses. You know, obviously, a lot of characters have the game plan against Kirby of trying to get Kirby to chase them through the air, right? Uh, Kirby's ground game, Kirby's defensive game, they're really, really strong. He has really good defensive options in up tilt, you know, reaction forward smash. Um, you know, if you ever clank with him with Link, you know, obviously you're never going to be able to get an aerial out in time because you've got a seven frame or something jump squat. Um, it's really, really difficult for Link to gain advantage on the ground. You really mm -hmm. want to be trying to play around those platforms. You really want to be trying to focus on projectile usage and getting Kirby into the air where you can get, you know, really clean fall through up airs that lead into bigger combos or even edge guards with up B, um, yeah. from the platform. Uh, thinking of, I, I recently watched a few, um, Link Kirby sets and, um, it seems like the edge guarding is probably the hardest hurdle to get to. Hmm. Uh, but once you once you get really, really good at edge guarding Kirby uh, with Link, it is very, <laughs> very possible. Yeah, that's good to know. Yeah, I know. Link is actually pretty fun to watch. Once you actually see a good Link, you see someone who puts in all that practice for that good Link, you know?